Hello friends. Welcome back to Prasad Tech. This video is based on interfacing of multiple I2C modules like DS1307 RTC, BH1750 light intensity, BMP180 and OLED module with Raspberry Pi Pico W. If you are thinking to interface multiple I2C devices with Pi Pico W then this video for you. In this video we are connecting for I2C devices to Pi Pico W. The best thing is that here I am using same Arduino supported library as I am using Arduino IDE for programming of Pi Pico W. I2C inter integrated circuit is a short distance serial interface that requires only two bus lines for data transfer. It was invented by Philips in 1980s, originally to provide easy onboard communications between a CPU and various peripheral chips in a TV set. Today, it is widely used in varieties of embedded systems to connect low speed peripherals, external EEPROMS, digital sensors, LCD drivers, etc., to the main controller. I2C bus interface wires consists of just two wires and are named as Serial Clock Line, SCL, and Serial Data Line, SDA. The data to be transferred is sent through the SDA wire and is synchronized with the clock signal from SCL. All the devices and ICs on the I2C network are connected to the same SCL and SDA lines and each slave device has a unique address. First we will discuss introduction of all module, module pin diagram, hardware overview, features, and applications. The DS1307 RTC module is a time tracking device that gives the current time and date. The word RTC is meant real-time clock. The RTC module made of clock chip DS1307. This module is generally used in computers, laptops, mobiles, embedded system applications devices, etc. to provide time and date. RTC module works on the I2C protocol. The module provides details such as second, minute, hour, day of the week, day of the month, month, and year including correction for leap year. One more interesting thing it can operate either in 12 hours or in 24 hours format. It can be used in projects like containing data logging, clock building, time stamping, timers, and alarms. The BH1750 ambient light sensor is used in areas where there is need to monitor the intensity of light for example adjusting the brightness of display in mobiles and LCD displays, street lights, and for turning car headlights on or off depending on outdoor lighting. The BH1750 is a 16-bit ambient light sensor that communicates via I2C protocol. It outputs luminosity measurements and locks, SI derived unit of illuminance. It can measure a minimum of 1 lux and a maximum of 65,535 lux. BMP 180 Barometric Sensor This precision sensor from Bosch is the best solution for measuring barometric pressure and temperature. It is an ultra-low power digital temperature and pressure sensor with high accuracy and stability. Because pressure changes with altitude you can also use it as an altimeter. It measures the absolute pressure of the air around it. It has a measuring range from 300 to 1100 HPA with an accuracy down to 0.02 HPA. It can also measure altitude and temperature. It consists of a piezo-resistive sensor, an analog to digital converter, and a control unit with EEPROM and a serial I2C interface. The raw measurements of pressure and temperature from the BMP180 sensor have to be compensated for temperature effects and other parameters using the calibration data saved into the EEPROM. Like most pressure sensors, the BMP180 measures absolute pressure. This is the actual ambient pressure seen by the device, which will vary with both altitude and weather. Before taking a pressure reading you must take a temperature reading. The average pressure of the atmosphere at sea level is 1013.25 HPA, or MBAR. This drops off to zero as you climb towards the vacuum of space. Because the curve of this drop-off is well understood, you can compute the altitude difference between two pressure measurements, P and P0, by using this equation. 
OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode, OLED. It is also known as Organic Electroluminescent, EL, Diode. OLED is a relatively new type of display for televisions, smartphones, and laptops. After being invented in 1987, OLED is already one of the two top display technologies in the industry. This display technology uses organic, carbon-containing, compounds that emit light when a current is passed through it. Unlike LCD, liquid crystal display, to use RGB, red, green, blue, color filter before white light source to produce full color, an OLED display uses OLED emitters to produce its own light. OLED has higher color contrast, viewing angles, flexibility, refresh rates, and power efficiency compared to LCD. Because LCD only works with backlighting where a light is put behind the device in order to display an image, they can never achieve a full black like an OLED can. An OLED can show deeper and truer black levels. Also because of the LED backlight, the power consumption of the OLED is less than that of LCD. OLED only emits light when a current is passed through, so if there is no current, there is absolutely no light. OLED can also change the brightness of a picture pixel by pixel.